guys, today is Saturday. We hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Eric and I are out on this gorgeous, like I said, Saturday, running errands. We're not wearing our masks currently, but do believe they are somewhere here in the in the truck. Yeah. Let, let me know if you guys have just started leaving your masks and your gloves just in the in the car, in your vehicle. Um, that way you will, you know, you'll always have them. Our first stop is going to be Lowe's. As you guys saw one vlog ago, maybe two or three vlogs ago, um, that I am, you know, making some changes in our master bedroom. So we're heading to Lowe's today to, um, you know, see what we can pick up there and then we'll have a few other stops please leave a comment let us know below if you are having beautiful weather on this saturday what's the date today's date the 16th. is the 16th of may let me know if on the 16th of may you guys are having fabulous weather because the weather here in atlanta today is absolutely gorgeous there's so many people out jogging and walking today it's just a beautiful day also to you know maybe pull out the barbecue grill um yeah just a beautiful day so as we were driving on this beautiful day to lowe's our topic of conversation was we were talking about our little annoyances mm -hmm. i was just in the bathroom mm -hmm. with you trying to do some oral hygiene. I was flossing my it teeth is, and for some reason that annoys you when just, I floss my teeth. Uh, it's, you guys know when you were in school and people would take their hands and run down the chalkboard. That is how you I should. feel when Eric is flossing his teeth. So let us know in the comments what your significant other's annoying habits are. I will tell you here and you have, I mean there's too many to, for us to talk about with you. Whatever. on this video because this, be, this will be an hour video i'm perfect uh, you know how like you'll throw on music when you're working around the house you're cleaning or working on something so everybody does stuff. it so which is fine but you've been playing of all things journey <laughs> on repeat now for those of you that aren't familiar with the band journey, aren't everybody they like a, knows journey aren't they like an 80s or 90s like hair rock band or something i don't know but i love them and that's not even like your <laughs> typical genre of music like you're normally what like do you mean? you're you're r&b hip-hop you're not like a no i'm not I listen, first and that's not all, even like real rock. That's like easy listening. I listen to coffee jazz that went around. Oh, that is sweet. That's a Porsche Carrera GT. That's the car that, uh, unfortunately, Paul Walker. Oh, really? Passed away. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's, that's the car. Nice. That's a nice car. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, everybody listens to Journey. Everybody knows who Journey is. They are are a phenomenal uh, rock band. And then you listen to one Journey song on but repeat. <laughs> what is that? I forget the name of it, but everybody Don't knows. Don't stop it. believing. It's straight elevator music. It is straight up elevator. That's it. It is straight up elevator music. It is so perfect. And then though. the jazz you listen to, first of all, you just put on generic jazz. I you do. Name a jazz artist. I don't know. I That's mean, all. I could. It's elevator music. You're jazz. not going to try me, Eric, but um, Eric and Chase call it sad music. It's sad jazz. It's, it's not even a good jazz. But it's, it's, like it's relaxing jazz. jazz. So, anyway, leave a comment. Let us know if your significant other has little quirks, annoyances. That, uh, annoyances that just really bother you. I'm telling you, it, Eric and I have to have times in the bathroom where it's like, no, you can't come in here because I know he's coming in here to floss his teeth and I don't want to hear it. You turn so the bathroom. come in here while I'm in here. And guys, I'm sure, fellas, I know your wife, girlfriend probably does this. For you to bathroom, it can't just be a shower. It's got to no, be a total a spa moment. experience. Every time I take it's a like shower, it's like I see you tomorrow. You're it the is a moment. It's, it's all steamed up and there's mm -hmm. all kind of essential oils. And I got my music. Lavenders I got my lemon. Head. Yeah. I see you're wearing your classy bougie oh, ratchet. Yeah. I shared this in the last video, though. Yeah. So just a quick shout out. Um, I've been watching your orders as they've been coming in, and I gotta say, the curvy chicks are here for the class. I don't know, like you sell all different sizes, but you know, one of the things you did with the store is you really wanted to cater to the curvier girls. Like I know you have a line specifically for the curvy girls, but I just wanted to be all inclusive. Yeah. Want to be all inclusive, and you guys, you curvy girls, have showed out. Like Eric was saying, we've sold quite a few t-shirts already. They are, you know, pretty new here in the store. But 
OMG. Apparently the curvy girls are classy to me. Y'all, yeah, y'all are out here representing. <laughs> we have sold so many of these shirts. Again, every, the store is all inclusive. We have sold quite a few of the shirts, but the curvy girls, y'all are just like, we will wait for the we will wait for the the, the the classy, bougie, savage, ravage, whatever. Y'all were waiting on the shirt. All right, guys, we have made it to Lowe's. We are wearing our mask. to see everybody's different masks, masks yeah. the designs, the colors. Some people have really um, gotten really creative. You know what I just realized? I had my sunglasses on the whole time in the store. You know why? Because I had my sunglasses on in the car, I had the mask on, and it just felt like it was all one yeah. minute. <laughs> so I didn't even realize I had them on in there. But yeah, it's kind of neat to see everybody's, you know, way of wearing their masks, the way they've gotten kind of creative with the designs of their masks. Um, Eric and I were just saying too, it's going to be interesting to see <laughs> how people react this summer because these things get hot. And thankfully, <clears throat> the ones on the Unfrumpy Mommy Star are very light. They're very light, they're, they're very thin. We sell t-shirts. So we wanted to have, you know, a mask that was kind of, uh, you know, in keeping with that kind of theme. So they're not overly heavy. Because you start to feel it, the heat. Yeah, it's just getting hot. It is <laughs> like, to, 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 what's the temperature? What's the temperature? And it's it's only about 80 today. Yeah, and so yeah. July, August, man. So we were just talking about- How are y'all gonna, those of you who wear the makeup, how are oh, you gonna wow. do your mask this summer? How are you doing them right now? Are you still wearing makeup with the mask? Mm. We were talking about, you know, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do about going to Orlando this summer. Like, if we go in June, July, it's already hot, and then we're gonna have on masks. It's, it's a new world. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> We are back from running errands and I want to share with you a few of the items that we picked up today. All right, so first off, we ran into Target and they had this Outsiders Pizza Company, Chicago style pepperoni pizza. We are going to try this out. You guys will have to let me know if you have ever tried the Outsiders Pizza Company, Chicago style pizza. Also, uh, we picked up a container of this Talenti Gelato Layers. This has peanut butter and vanilla fudge. So that looks like, I don't know, maybe peanut butter cereal down there at the bottom and then the vanilla and the fudge all layered in there. So pick that up again. Let me know if you have actually tried these items. And then over here, I picked up this mirror has a really pretty gold frame on it. You guys will have to let me know what you think about it. And then I picked up this table. You guys know the uh, kind of industrial chic look is very on trend right now. 
leave your guesses below for where you think these things are gonna go so be sure to stay tuned for that video um, I also have to share with you guys how the painted furniture turned out it looks so amazing so uh, yeah so that's what we picked up today first shout out is Monica C from Cincinnati Ohio I have spent some time in Cincinnati great city very beautiful riverfront area there uh, Brandy H Kent Washington I want to say that's the first package to Washington State I'm not sure I don't think I've seen one to Washington State Dara J Pensacola of course I've been to Pensacola a few times Helen A Thomaston Georgia shout out to the Georgia family Delphine H Williamsport PA Florence M, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Evelyn C, Liberty Township, Ohio. Lisa B, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Lawrenceville, shout out to Lawrenceville. That is in Atlanta, beautiful Atlanta suburb. Talisha A, Miami. Who doesn't love Miami? Come on. What's not to like about Miami? Kenya R, Stafford, VA. VA always represents for the Unfrumpy Mommy store. And last but not least, Beverly P from Bradenton, Florida. Shout out to Florida. And thank you all for continuing to support the Unfrumpy Mommy store. Today we have a quick pink package shout out, but no less still very important. All of you guys are very important to us. This one goes out to Beverly P from Bradenton, Florida. Uh, thank you, Beverly. I believe I'm 99.9% .9 sure Beverly is very much uh, a repeat and loyal customer. So we appreciate all you guys that continue to support the Unfrumpy Mommy store, um, the Unfrumpy Amazon store, the Unfrumpy Mommy Amazon store uh, that my wife also has, and, the, and even the Poshmark store uh, that my wife has. So yeah, appreciate your continued support. And hopefully today you all, you guys are all feeling blessed and not stressed. <laughs> What's up guys, another uh, pink package shout out. This is gonna be another quick one. The first pink package goes to Arnold P from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Arnold P. It's always good to get order from uh, the guys. The second order is Florence M from Fayetteville, North Carolina. So again, North and South Carolina representing and again, today, I hope you guys are feeling blessed and not stressed. And I will see you on the next Pink Package Show.